Good morning students. I Rashmi ma'am is again back with your online classes or you can say online session for class 7. Till we have completed after muscular tissues we have completed. In muscular tissues which kind of muscular tissues are there we have completed also that was first was your straighted, second was unstraighted and the last one was cardiac. Straighted is also known as stripped skeletal and voluntary muscles and unstrated is also known as involuntary, unstrated and smooth muscles. So this was the three types of muscular tissues which we have read yesterday also. Now we are going to read about the or you can say have a little bit knowledge about the third one that is your connective tissue which one is connective tissue now what is connective tissue now in your book it has been written the connective tissue is specialized to connect and anchor various body organs in which connective tissue is a specialized to connect means as a joint and anchor various body organ means the part which is very important means the body part which is very important it should be anchored by the connective tissue only what happened it is being anchored or you can say it is a specialized of a jointing means connecting like you connect one tube to another tube it connects in this you will read many more things about your blood your bones your cartilage so it has been used over a word connect and anchor anchor means to hold to host also anchor means to host or to hold and connect means to join so connective tissue work is to joint or anchor means joint them and host them our various body organs for the performance the tissues can connect bones to each other like see connect means what connection of what bones in our body there are 206 bones so every bone should be connected then only our body movement is working every bone is connected with other with, uh, with other then only our body is performing the function that is the specialization which connective tissue work it connects the bone to each other muscles to bones bind tissues bind tissues and can also give support to various parts of the body by creating a packaging around organs now see what is this it this is a tissue and can also give support to various parts. It only not joins the bone from one to another, but also joint bones to muscles and muscles to bones. Afterward, tissue can also give support to various parts of body. This tissue, this our connective tissue also gives support. Support means what? To hold our parts of body by creating a packaging, packing around organs now means what over here packing word has been used why it has been used packing means it to pack the gap which is being placed between two bones or the two muscles and bones or the parts of the body this connective tissue work like a packing like you also do your backpacks when you go for a holiday i also pack the things very neatly that it should hold for a day or it should not be rotten and many other things are there so your connective tissue is first is a specialized to connect what connect bones muscles to bones another is anchor various body anchor means what it bind the tissues and support host the other parts of body by creating a packing around organs what it does by creating a packing around organs now comes types of connective tissue in animals there are following types of connective tissue now in animals also you can say in our human body also is being made up of three to five types of connective tissue in your book it has been shown first is your alloral connective tissue next is your dense regular connective tissue third is your adipose tissue 
fourth is your skeletal tissue and the last one is your fluid connective tissue now these are the kind types of connective tissues now another thing i should say connective tissue are group of tissues made up of cells separated by non living material also called as extra cellular matrix what is called extra cellular matrix this is a non living material so our connective tissue is a group of tissue everyone know tissue is a group when we are calling tissue it it symbolize that it should be in a group so these tissues are a group made up of what cells different kinds of cells now what is that thing each cell has been separated by non living material that is called extra cellular matrix this tissue gives shape to the organs and holds them in place i have said you what it connect means what join and anchor various body organs means what it gives shape hold and also create a packing around organs with the help of extra cellular matrix that is a non living material which is used to for the packing around organs which is being called extra cellular matrix for example blood bone tendon adipose ligament and areolar tissues so there are three types of connective tissue but we over here we have to read about five types what we have to read five types now the connective tissue what it gives shape to organs and hold them in place connective tissues first function is that it gives a shape and anchor the various body organ means hold them in their original place from where they have to work it functions as the main supporting tissue of the body how is its function it functions as the main supporting tissue of the body now what is another thing is that insulating insulation you have seen a jointing when two things has been break down what we do we joined them with one another so the connective tissue help us to also insulate our bones to bones and muscles to bones helps in binding the organs together and provides support what is done it helps in binding the organs helps in binding also means to joint them together and provide support means what our mechanical support protect against the invasion of pathogens by their phagocytic activity now different types of germs and chemicals are harming in our bones and muscles every time inside our body because nowadays our living standard eating habits all thing has been changed so that there are so many of pathogens come inside our body due to the phagocytic activity this has been protected by our connective tissue because if there is any kind of invasion that has been filled with the help of the connective tissue it refills it it joint it so it hold it it give the shape and many more things it do inside our body in the organs now another is that provide shape to the body converts body heat and also stores energy what another thing is do our connective tissue also store the energy and conserves the body heat likewise when you are feeling very very much cold when you what connective tissue work like a fat the fat which has been set inside our body it is being conserved by the connective tissue only which conserves the heat inside our body and in winter season make us always calm involved in transporting nutrients hormones gases waste and other substances within the body so it also work like a transporting agent it also transport the nutrients hormones gases waste and other substances within the body so these were the function what connective tissue do so connective tissue is mainly made up of how many components three components how many components three components 
what are they they are first is your intercellular matrix next is the cells and the last is the fibers these intercellular matrix helps the invasion of pathogens it is made up up of mucopolysaccharide polysaccharide specified by hyaluronic acid okay and the cells fibroblasts adipocytes plasma cells and mast cells so our connective tissue is made up up of three components intercellular matrix cells and the fibers so a fiber will be collagen fiber elastic fiber reticular fiber these are the things which a whole and soul complete the connective tissue which works for our body what it does it works for our body so types of connective tissue you understand what is connective tissue it is specialized to connect hold give shape and anchor our various body organs binding the shape transporting nutrients and also what it does it supports the main functions of the our body by using its three components which is intercellular matrix cells and fibers so this was the connective tissue now we are going to study about the types of connective tissue